Are you having trouble in the caregiver relationship? There are usually three reasons for this, one of which is very serious. First of all, your loved one may not be feeling well. It could be a vague sense that something's just not right. This can trigger panic and fear. Maybe it means there are greater problems on the horizon. Some patients think that if they ignore it, it will go away on its own. That's not usually the case. Make sure your loved one isn't experiencing a medical problem. See the doctor. Have it checked out. Sometimes little situations seem like big situations when they're not. It could just be a matter of adjusting a medication or adding a medical treatment. But you won't know till you take your loved one to the doctor. The second reason? It's a little more personal. Maybe it's your caregiving. Are you overbearing? Your loved one may be perceiving you that way. It's all in how you present your care. Understand from the patient's perspective. You may be inadvertently doing something that comes off as being bossy. No one likes to be ordered around. Do this, do that. There are often times when it's important for a patient to comply with medications and treatments. It's all about how you present it. If you are a partner for your loved one in the care, your loved one doesn't feel like a small child. Engage your loved one in the decision-making process and make sure that he or she understands you're working together. The third reason is that our loved ones sometimes feel like a burden. No matter what we do or say, no matter how positive we are, they feel guilty that they need that much care. It's up to you to find ways to balance the relationship with your loved one. How can you make your loved one feel there's still something to give in the relationship? Skill, knowledge. Encourage your loved one to be part of the relationship and part of the family so that there's balance. You want your loved one to be engaged in life. You don't want your loved one to feel that the caregiver is everything in the world. No one should ever feel so dependent on a caregiver that he or she is completely lost. You want to empower your loved one. You want your loved one to feel there's still a lot of life to enjoy.